Hello everyone. Once again, welcome to PM Networking. Hope you all are doing great. Guys, this is day two of policy based routing. And in this video, we are going to understand local policy. You know, in last class, we had discussed how to configure policy for voice traffic. Like if I will talk in this scenario, so we had configured the policy for this IP phone. Whenever this IP phone will communicate with this IP phone, R1 should forward traffic to R3. So this path should be used, right? That was the previous configuration. In the previous configuration, we can add some more things as well. Like suppose what I want, I, I want that all telnet and SSH traffic should be go via R3 and all rest traffic should go via R2. So those things also you can achieve by access control list as you know how to configure in last video we had discussed those things today topic is today topic is local policy local policy means today we are going to configure the policy on router for the traffic which router will generate for the traffic which router will generate so I want that all the traffic which router will generate should pass through router number 3 and all other traffic which router will receive from someone that should be forward through router number 1 that should be forward through normal forwarding through the routing table of router and as you know in the routing table of router the best path is via router number 2 because here we have more bandwidth to 2 mbps 2 mbps 1 mbps and 1 mbps so definitely router router 1 will install upper path for the best path right so whenever these user want to communicate with these user router 1 should use router 1 will use this path router 1 will forward traffic to router number 2 let me show you first that on router number one just I am going to show you the routing table so IP route in the routing table you can see 192 where is 192.168.20.0 here it is 192.168.20.0 is reachable via 12.1.1.2 means router number two and I am am I able to ping or not 192.168.20.100 is the gateway of R4, R4 LAN interface and source is first Ethernet to 0 slash 0. This is my LAN interface, LAN interface on router number 1. So let me verify the connectivity first. Okay, so there is no connectivity guys. Let me troubleshoot. So IP, EIGRP neighbor. So neighbor, both neighbor is fine. In the routing table route is also available so let me check directly the routing table of router 4 so ip agrp neighbor both neighbor is fine so ip route agrp so 192.168.10.0 network is there in the routing table of router 4 also so it should work ping should work what mistake we are doing let me check ping 192.168.20.100 and source is fast ethernet 0 slash 0 so everything is fine over here that means i just need to check the ip configuration it's not working okay let me verify the ip of router 4 so ip interface brief exclude and assign so okay here I have configured wrong IP address let me correct it interface f2 slash 0 and here IP address will be 192.168.10.20.100.255.255.255.0 done let me write the configuration okay so from router number one now you can ping you can see Ping is working, success success rate is 100%. Now, my concern is, whenever router 1 will generate any traffic, it should follow which path? Path number 3. See for this, how we can configure the policies. For this, what we will do? Let's say I want to 
configure a policy uh, so that whenever router one will generate a traffic whose length is between 100 byte to 200 byte that should be go via router number three for that just you need to create one route map route map after that name of route map is let's say my policies and here we are going to set the next hop IP address set IP next hop 13.1.1.3 and we will apply this route this policy on the global config mode of router earlier we were applying the policy on interface of router this time in global config mode you will run command IP and just you need to add one keyword over here that is local local policy route map after that name of your route map my policy that's it and here we need to match as well so let's say match IP address from list number let's say a or anything any name you can configure and in access control list we will define the interesting traffic like this we can configure the local policy over here right so let me take you on router number one directly here what I am going to do I am going to configure one access control list first access list IP access list IP access list and uh, extended and name is let's say a after that permit IP host or you can say any destination is any done after that route map name of route map is let's say my policy permit 10 set or match IP address from access list A and set IP next hop set IP next hop 13.1.1.3 done after that in global config mode you will apply IP, IP and here you will add one local keyword local policy so what is difference in local policy here we need to add there are two difference one is here we need here we are adding one keyword that is local so local IP policy policy after that route map and name is my policy done that's it now let's say I am going to ping ping 192.168.10. Ten dot, ten dot, let's say 10 20 dot 10 So it should work. It's not working because we have not configured IP address on PC 2, VPC 2. So that's why it's not working. Let me ping 100. So see, it's working and so route map. Match is 10 packet. If you want to debug, so debug IP policy. And let me ping again. So see policy is matching or not yes policy is matching and traffic is forwarding th through PVR done source is this one 12.1.1.1 .1 so this is nothing but the local policy you are configuring the policy for local now here we can do one more thing let's say I don't want to use access control list over here no IP 
एक्सेस लिस्ट ए एक्सटेंडेड ए डन राउट मैप माई पॉलिसी राउट मैप माई पॉलिसी एंड हियर ऑल्सो आई एम गोइंग टू से नो मैच आई पी एड्रेस फ्रॉम एक्सेस लिस्ट ए डन एंड आई एम गोइंग टू से वॉट मैच लेंथ आफ्टर दैट हंड्रेड टू लेट से टू हंड्रेड सो दिस टाइम इट इज गोइंग टू मैच वॉट लेंथ ट्रैफिक विच रॉटर वन बिल जेनरेट फॉर दैट इफ लेंथ इज फ्रॉम वन हंड्रेड टू टू हंड्रेड बाइट देन पॉलिसी बिल मैच इट इज गोइंग टू फॉर बार ट्रैफिक टू रॉटर नंबर थ्री If policy will not match, it will forward traffic to router number one. See, let me maximize it, guys, for the better output. Debug IP policy ping one ninety two dot one sixty eight dot ten dot hundred. Sorry, twenty dot hundred. I am pinging twenty dot hundred over here. See, policy is match or rejected. Policy is matched. Here you can see policy is matched, and length is hundred. That's why, if your length is let's say pink, and size is two hundred fifty, this time see policy is rejected. It's normal forwarding, yes or no? It's normal forwarding because length is to length of traffic is. 250 byte so if length will be in range then only policy will match then it will forward traffic through pvr otherwise here you can see policy rejected normal forwarding done ping 150 policy is match forwarding is through pvr done so this is nothing but the local PVR. You can configure PVR local policy. You can configure the policy on local router as well. That for the router traffic, the traffic which router will generate. Now what I want, let me enable telnet on router number four. On router number four, what I am going to do, I am going to enable telnet. So say line VTY zero four and the password is one two three. Say login. Done. Now on router number one, what I want that whenever router one will take telnet access of router four, it should use lower path. But whenever router one forward any traffic, it should use upper path. So this task also we can achieve here. See first of all what I will do. In the route map, first of all I am going to remove. Let's say no route map, no route map, and my policy my policy i have removed the route map so route map there is no any route map and i i have run one more command in global config mode that is ip local policy route map and my policy i'm going to remove this command as well from here now my requirement is if i will trace route 192.168.10.100 you can see it will forward traffic to router 2 and then router 2 will forward it to router 4 for, for all traffic even if i will talk about the ping traffic uh, uh, telnet traffic ssh traffic all traffic will go via router number 2 only right so here it's not showing you the ip address of router 2 trace route It is forwarding directly to one ninety two one sixty eight dot ten dot two, 
let me trace root it from source from source is my LAN interface let's say actually here IP address is wrong IP address will be not this one IP address will be 20.100 20.100 and say numeric you can see traffic is going via router number 2 router 2 to router number 4 yes or no now if I will talk about the telnet traffic also you can verify see now what I am going to do I am going to configure one policy over here so telnet traffic should be go via router number 3 so IP access list extended and name is let's say what a or not like this you can configure like this also access list 101 permit permit telnet is using which service TCP or UDP so TCP TCP after that source source is anything than destination so destination is also let's say anything after that equal to 23 done I have configured one access list in this access list I will I have permit this IP address now I am going to use this access control list in route map route map and name is my policy permit 10 and match IP address from list number 101 and set next hop set IP next hop but 13.1.1.3 done now IP local policy a route map name is my policy done see debug IP policy when I am pinging 192.168.20.100 policy is rejected policy is rejected yes or no and here you can verify the match as well so route map done match is 0 but if I will take telnet 192.168.20.100 see policy is matched policy is matched password is 123 exit traffic is not important so route map you can see the match 30 match right and now if you want to read see the next hop IP address is what 13.1.1.1 source IP address is 12.1.1 destination IP address is 192.168.20.100 and next hop IP address is 13.1.1.1 so whenever router 1 will take telnet access of router 4 it traffic will go via router number 3 and all other traffic will go via router number 2 this is nothing but the local policy you can configure policy on router as well that whenever router will generate so we had discussed when router will generate traffic of length 100 to 200 then how we will manipulate the path uh, how we will manipulate the path for the telnet traffic right on the local router and guys there is one more concept in PVR that is default PVR so in next video we will discuss the default PVR as well till now if you have learned something from this video please hit on like button guys if you have not subscribed this channel please subscribe this channel we will meet soon in next video till then stay safe bye bye see you